Hi, this is Miss Bouchard, and today I will teach you how to compare two like fractions. Comparing like fractions involves analyzing the numerators and the denominators across two or more fractions. Once I analyze the two different fractions, I can rank them by size. When ranking fractions by size, I can use a variety of symbols to help me do this. I can use the greater than or less than symbols to rank fractions that are greater than or less than. I can also use an equal sign when I'm comparing two equivalent fractions. When comparing two like fractions where there is a fraction that is greater, I always make sure that the symbol opens up to the greater fraction. It's much easier to compare two like fractions, which is when the fractions have the same denominator. We're looking at parts using the same unit fraction. For example, when I'm comparing 2 fourths to 3 fourths, I'll notice that the unit fraction that I'm working with is fourths. Since I know that the unit fraction is fourths, it's a lot easier for me to take a look at the number of pieces that are representing fourths out of the entire whole. One thing that's really important to keep in mind when comparing like fractions is that you need to be working with the same overall whole. If I went to a pizza store and ordered a large pizza, and a small pizza, and I were to slice those pizzas into fourths, you'd notice that the size of the fourths of my large pizza are significantly larger than the size of the fourths of my small pizza. They are never going to be part of the same overall whole, so therefore I can't actually compare them. One strategy I can use to compare two like fractions is by creating a visual representation or sketch. I can draw a picture of two whole shapes that are equal in size, break those shapes down by their respective unit fractions, and then shade in the number of parts out of the whole. Once I do this, I can reflect on which is larger. So in this case, I'm working with 2 fourths, so I've shaded in 2 out of 4 overall parts. And when I'm comparing that to 3 fourths, I shade in 3 out of 4 overall parts. I can see that there's actually more shaded in in my 3 fourths than there is in the 2 fourths. I could also make note that 2 fourths is equivalent to 1 half, and the 3 fourths over here is bigger than half, so that can also help me when I'm comparing the two. Another strategy that I can use when comparing two like fractions is partitioning a number line showing the unit fraction that's in both of the fractions, then finding the fraction locations along the number line and then reasoning their distance from zero. So in this case, I've partitioned this number line into fourths, zero fourths being my starting point, then one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths is my whole. Now the two fractions that I'm comparing are two fourths and three fourths. And when I take a look at the distance from the overall whole, I can see that two fourths is actually much, much closer to the zero than my three-fourths. So when I'm reasoning the distance, I can see that three-fourths is definitely the greater fraction than two-fourths. And when I'm comparing that, I can make my greater than, less than symbol open up to the three-fourths. Here are several ways that you can compare like fractions.